Hello, Demon Gnome is back. In this video, we're going to help this noob with the legendary Dark Fruit reach max level. But before starting, show your support by using Star Code Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys every time you use my Star Code, I get paid. Okay, so we're done with the Gum Fruit. Now, are you ready to grind its mortal enemy, the Dark Fruit? Yes, this is one of the legendary fruits in this game, too. So, guys. What are we waiting for? Let's grind this one, okay? So again, if you want to buy this in the store, you need 1 million bellies. But most importantly, it should be on stock, okay? So as you can see, guys, we don't have a skill yet. So we're going to grind until I think level 10. Yeah, level 10 or 11 to unlock our first skill, okay? There you go. Keep on defeating the thieves until you reach level 10, yes. For our case, it's 11. So guys, there you go. We can now put some stats on our fruit so there you go first skill is the dark fly and the black hole dark fly is for traveling dark hole is for our initial damage there you go guys not that good but you can combo it with your m1 left clicks okay guys so there you go just a reminder we have a level 15 quest here on uh, the pumpkin right who knows that you only need to get five pumpkins from task giver poppy kim uh, guys, you can only do this every 5 minutes. Okay, so make sure to take advantage of that. But if you're gonna ask me, I only do this once. And that is enough for me to go to the next island. In less than 5 minutes, okay? Next skill to be unlocked is the Dark Vortex X skill. So guys, X plus Z skill is enough to defeat this mobs, okay? The bandits. So guys, our first major enemy in this island <laughs> is the bandit boss. So guys, this is the boss. Guys, I don't suggest you using your Dark Vortex here. Why? Because you're gonna pull your enemy towards you, right? As you can see, you will let this boss hit you if you use that. So there's a chance that you will die. So guys, make sure to use your Z and left clicks first, okay? And then when you get stronger, yes, you will be able to burst him. Okay, we will be unlocking our C skill, the Dark Ball here. With this skill, you will be summoning a ball and you will be pulling your enemy towards that ball. So guys, there you go. So this is a really good skill for grinding. We will be using this skill a lot later. Okay, so our goal here is level 40. Next up is the Clown Island. So guys, our target is the Pirate Clown. If you can guys, just grind here. See that guys? Dark Ball plus Z skill and X skill and that's it. Okay, once you increase your fruit stats, you can easily burst your enemies using only two skills, okay? By the way, you still have another enemy here, the clown, right? At level 60, so it's your choice if you want to grind clown or stay here. Anyways, here is the boss in this island, clown boss. We will also be unlocking our two final skills here. First one is the black dragon. I'm going to show it to you. Okay, there you go. 120 fruit stats needed. And aside from that, you will be unlocking your B skill, the final skill, the Darkness Emperor. Guys, this one's really good. Partner it with the Dark Ball and you will be deleting most of your enemies in the first C. Anyways, continue grinding here until you reach level 90. So again, this is the Darkness Emperor. There you go. We're gonna do a stat check after this one. There you go. Again, level 90. Here are the stats. Let's just focus on the combat 20, defense 30, and the remaining one will go to the fruit stat. Okay? Next up, Shark Park. Target here is the Fishman. So guys, again, this will be fast. I'm telling you, just use your Dark Ball. Next up is your Darkness Emperor, or just use your Black Dragon and your X skill, the Dark Vortex. Okay? So it really depends on you, on what combo do you like to use. Go, you can easily one hit combo these enemies, okay? So at level 120, guys, again, this is your choice if you want to defeat this boss, shark boss, to get his sword, or just focus on the fishman, okay? Because again, guys, defeating them will be a lot easier and faster, even though this shark boss gives out more experience, guys. If you're gonna ask me more efficient, I'm gonna stay with the fishman, okay? Also, they spawn really fast compared to this one. Anyways, in the end, it's your choice. Do you want the sword or do you want to grind faster? Okay, so at 160, we're gonna leave this area and head to the desert ruins. So guys, Desert Thief is our target, only target. Again, we have two mobs here, Desert Thief and the Bomb Man. Why? Check that out, guys. Two skills. 
see that? Oh, actually, I included the black dragon there, but just to be sure. There you go, guys. Very easy. Very fast. Also, the quest giver is so near. Okay? So, again, I suggest just grind here. But, I'm gonna show you the bomb ban. Or the... Sorry, guys! The bomb boss! Why did I call it bomb ban? Maybe in King Legacy, right? <laughs> Anyways, this one is beatable, but again, you will be using lots and lots of skills. Also, you are far away from the quest giver, which makes things, hmm, how do I say it, a lot less efficient. Okay, so next area is the Barati, oh sorry, wrong name, C Restaurant, target here is the Craig Pirate. Okay, again, our combo, okay, Darkness Emperor, if they're not so far apart, and then Dark Ball plus your Z or your uh, V skill, okay, that's it. Continue this until you finish grinding this area. But Gamer Nom, again, you're gonna skip Craig, the boss in this island. Yes, we're gonna skip him. Why? Again, guys, you need to use lots of skills. Again, I am referring to this one, Craig boss level 300. Check that out, guys. We're almost done with all our skills. HP of this boss is still... Uh, it still has one-fourth HP remaining. So again... It will take more time even though it gives out again more experience this will be a lot less efficient so guys stay here with the Craig Pirates see that one and two and we're done here guys all right okay so go here search level 350 next up is the load town you guys here there are lots of things that you can buy first up is the Buso Haki I by the way sorry <laughs> in the previous island the clown uh, island you can buy the flash step there. Okay, so first target marine recruits Actually guys if, if you're gonna ask me, I'm gonna stay here again marine recruits. Why? There you go damage Okay, pull them together use another skill and that's it right very easy. There's a boss here Tashi So hmm, I don't know guys if you want to defeat this one this one's kind of tough because of its blink or flash step But it really depends on you again. Okay? As long as you level up, right? So guys, our goal here is to reach level 450. Okay, and after that, next up, let's head to the rocky pillars first. Guys, remember this pillar with some grass? There's an opening here and in the end, you can buy the skywalk. Okay? For 20,000 bellies, level 1 requirement only. Okay? So we are moving now to the next island, the tall woods. So guys, check this out. Cute little monkey. Gamer Nom. You're gonna tell us that we're just gonna defeat this one and skip the other mobs. Yes, guys, especially this island. Why? Guys, the next mob here, the gorillas, even though they're easy to defeat, they're so far. And guys, dark fly is not that fast, okay? There you go. So don't worry, guys, I'm gonna show you how the gorilla looks like. There you go, yeah. And also, we have the gorilla king here. So we're gonna attack him, we're gonna fight them. Mm, guys, no. Just skip it or if you want to get the crown go for it guys again this game is not all about grinding if you want to get every item that you can accessory etc go for it but just to be clear i won't be skipping every boss there are boss that we really need to defeat for some items okay okay so just like this one the monkey crown increases health not that good <laughs> anyways guys we're gonna stay here until level 600 and after that the next island would be there you go, the Marine Base. So here, we're gonna only defeat the Marine Grant. Okay, why? Mm, same reasoning. <laughs> they're easy to defeat and they're near the quest giver. Okay, the combo is C, B plus V skill. And that's it, guys. Very easy, right? There's a boss here. Guys, I watched this one in the anime. I forgot the name, the Marine Captain. Anyways, uh, you can get an item from him. But again, if you notice, we cannot one-hit combo this one. So meaning we will wait for the skills to cool down and then we'll spend more time. Which means we'll be spending more time in this island. So again, I suggest stay with the previous one. Okay? For our next island, we got the three islands. So here, we're gonna get our level to flash step. And our first target would be the satire or satire. Okay, so there you go. B and C skill plus one V skill and that's it. Very easy, right? There's a boss here and again, guys, sad to say, we're gonna skip him. Here is the Minotaur. Why Gamer Gnome? Uh, for us, it's a disadvantage. There is really uh, 
not that spacious, so there's a chance that he might attack us. See that? We already got damage, and there you go. Actually, I'm just showing it to you. <laughs> We're fighting him. We can actually go in a high ground and just spam skills. But again, I'm showing you that this is not that efficient. So we're gonna go back on the previous mob and just grind there, okay? I hope that's clear. There you go. So just keep on defeating these mobs until you reach level 800. Okay, so next up, guys. The next island would be this one. The Marine HQ. So guys, target the Elite Marine. And again, we have a boss here. Guys, this, this is the type of boss that you should be fighting. I'm gonna tell you why later. Okay, so there you go. Oh, actually guys, before that, that boss, we still have uh, another mob, the Vice Admiral. Yeah, you skipped that one. <laughs> Anyways, the boss I'm talking about is Ice Admiral. Guys, if you want the Bicento, you really need to defeat this one. Why? Because guys, uh, every time you fight him, there's a chance that he will drop a key. And that key is the key to opening the door in this. Actually, yeah, opening the door, but that door will summon the uh, white beard actually the girl version of white beard this one okay so she drops i think the white orb so you can exchange it for bicento and then fight her again for bicento v2 yeah i think that's it <laughs> anyways guys that is uh, some of the bosses that you need to defeat if you want to earn something okay so next up guys sky islands the skylands Okay, so this is Tain's area, yeah, with the Sundorian warriors. There are other mobs here. I'm not gonna show them. Why? Hmm. Aside from there, again, far away. <laughs> yeah, they're far away. That's my only reasoning, guys. Sundorian warriors, there you go. Again, there's another mob here. Plus, on top of this area, you will find Thunder God and the... Uh, I forgot the other one, guys. The Royal Guards, I think. I skipped all of those. Why? Again, guys, same reasoning. Okay, so if you want, oh actually guys, if you want the accessor of Thunder Gun, that's good, go for it. Okay, so next up, Revolutionary Base. So guys, you can buy the Busu Haki Level 2 here, okay, and go straight to the Revolutionary, okay. So this is not the best mob here, but it is also good to grind here. The next mob, I think the Revolutionary Elite is uh, closer to the Quest Giver, which makes it a better choice for grinding okay so there's a boss here i what's the name Revo, Revo, uh, sorry revolutionary boss and it doesn't look like dragon again this is the revolutionary elite at level 1200 there you go see that guys it's just near the quest giver actually guys you can position yourself near the quest giver and just attack them and defeat them i'm just showing it to you uh, the closer version of grinding okay so again skip this boss it's too tanky and guys the reason why we're gonna skip this one also is you're gonna pull other mobs here see that so instead of you finishing the quest immediately and getting another quest to grind fast see that you will attract other enemies okay so guys next area is the impel jail or impel down target is the impel guard there you go 1300 just use your c skill go so, and b skill Plus another X skill or Z skill and that's it. Okay, very easy to grind here. Again, I don't suggest grinding inside the Impel Jail because you will be pulling Warden. Again, yeah, Warden and Impel Elite, guys. Yeah, I don't suggest them. Gamernom, you're skipping a lot of mobs, guys. If you want to grind fast, trust me, guys. I've been kind of doing this for the past two years now. I, th I think it's three. There you go. Next up, Cold Island. Okay, we have the Corrupt Marine here. There you go. Gamer Nom, how long can you grind from 1 to max? Guys, 2 days. Okay, 2 days. Just 2 days. If you hear someone telling me that's not true or telling you that's not true, guys, uh, let's make a bet with them. Okay? I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna reach that in just 2 days. Okay, next up, guys, we got Virgo here and Snow Harpy. Again, skip them. Okay, so guys, after this, we actually, we're gonna stay in this area. Guys, do you know fish land, guys? Don't grind here. It's really hard to grind here. Unless you want to get Neptune's crown, get, go for that, okay? We're gonna go straight to the Skull Island and defeat Skull Pirates, okay? So we're gonna stay here with the Skull Pirates. Again, they're easy to grind. They're easy to burst. That's it. That's my only reasoning here. 
Oh, but guys, we have a boss here. I think it's the vice captain of the Dark Beard Pirates in One Piece. Yes, we're gonna skip this one. Why? Because again, uh, sometimes you cannot pull them everyone with one skill. So that's a no-no for me. Anyways, again, if you want the sword of Shiryu, go for him. Uh, he will drop it. No, actually, he will drop something. I think it's a book or something, guys. And then you will give it to a merchant on the right. Oh, actually, at the back of the skull here in the Skull Island. You can exchange it for a sword. I made a video of that. There goes Shiryu. Okay. Shiryu came from the Impel Jail. Yeah, if you watch the anime. Okay, so... We're gonna grind here until level 1,900, and after that, okay, finally, guys, next island. Here are the stats, max fruits. Up to you where to put the combat and defense stats. For me, it's 1-9 defense. Okay, so next up, Bubble Island. Here, guys, we have two mobs, actually three, the pirate. There you go, easy to defeat. Guys, for those wanting to get the gear for, this is the island to get it. The requirements, level 750, and you need some uh, 100,000 bellies, and defeat gear for Luffy here and get the book okay so guys next mob here is the coolest mob in the game the armored marine see that guys oh, actually the shinobis are cool too anyways even though they're cool they're easy to defeat there you go again there is a boss here it's uh, gear for Luffy actually it's only gear 4 it's named gear 4 here there you go you can get the book here again just reminding for those who want to get the gear 4 transformation we're not gonna grind him because he's, he's kind of tanky. And also, you can buy the flash step here. Okay? Let's take note of the requirements. Okay, for our next island, the final island, the thriller boat. Our target here is a skeleton. Okay, so guys, they're, they're cute looking here compared to the skeletons in Blast Fruits. But they're both good. Both games are good. We still have two mobs here. The other one is the mommy, but I think we should just focus on Ryuma, just in case you want the sword. But if not, just focus here on the skeletons, even though it doesn't give you bones, like in Bloxwoods. Okay, so we can get the sword and scarf Ryuma here, which is really good for sword users. Anyway, we're gonna defeat him once, just to show you how powerful the dark fruit, yes, this is a legendary fruit here. Check it out, with just one combo, he is almost dead. Less than uh, one fourth. HP remaining. There you go, guys. That's it. Okay. So, guys, again, if you want to get the sword, I think it's the Shisui. Oh, what is this? Okay, so at level 220, we are now ready to head to the second sea. So requirements, level 2200 and the Poneglyph Scroll. So, where you can find it, guys, in the pillars where you got the Skywalk. But just choose the middle pillar, okay? There's an opening there. And now, to the second sea. Let's start grinding first up the Samurai. So, guys, we have four mobs here. But I don't suggest the Shinobis. Why? They're so far away from the quest giver. So guys, uh, it really depends on you. Samurai or the strong Samurais. That's, that's good. That's already good enough to grind here. Okay? So again, we're gonna skip the two mobs. We're gonna keep on grinding here until we reach level 2400. Okay? So after that, guys, next island is the Wooden Prison. So guys, here, the target is Officer Guard. There's a boss here. Also, there's another mob here, but the other one is far, and the mammoth, the boss here, is too tanky. Yeah, I guess it's too tanky. So, it will decrease the efficiency of our grinding. And as a proof, here we go. Mammoth boss. Look here it is. Guys, the design of this is really good. If, what do you call this? If you're gonna compare it with the anime, yeah, it really looks the same. Almost the same, guys. This, uh, Zoan. I mean mammoth version form there you go so guys did you see that the mammoth got stuck in the post but again dark fruit is a fruit that pulls or pushes an enemy so yeah he got away because of our skill okay guys so next level 2550 snowy graveyard so guys grave robber is our target here but guys this is the first time that we will be grinding on the second mob why uh, it's it's near the quest giver. Oh, I forgot. Same with the revolutionary elites, right? Okay, so now we're gonna grind the other mob aside from the grave robbers. Also, guys, uh, just an option. 
Again, here is the Grave Robber at 2,600. Guys, you can also grind the boss here, the Three Sword style, if you really want to get Zoro's Three Sword style. Guys, it's really good. One of the best animations that imitated Zoro's attacks. Okay, so guys, here is the boss, Zoro, 2,650. Also, this is this area is like one of the most common spawn points of the sea beast. So yeah, make sure to uh, like camp here if ever you wanna grind sea beasts. So there you go, guys. Is he hard to defeat? I don't know, guys. No, no, actually no. Even Odin here, but we won't be fighting him because he spawns once every hour. I guess I'm not sure of that. Anyways, there you go. After that, guys, final island, the desert city. So guys, we're gonna grind the Desert Pirate. So this is the easiest mob to grind here. He's so near the quest giver. And again, we just four skills. Oh, actually five skills now. Whoa, they're getting tankier. I think you only need four. Just make sure that you hit them properly. There you go. Okay guys, so again, we're gonna skip the other mobs here. We're gonna reach max level here, but I'm gonna show you guys. See this, it's so far away, right? Just by going from the quest giver to this desert boss, you already killed like I, th I think one set of mob, mobs. Sorry. Okay, guys. So gamer, now why did you make a video of this? This is one of the legendary fruits here, which means we still have the magma, the magnet, and the phoenix plus the mythical dragon. So guys, watch out for that. But if again it goes out the gear five this Saturday, I will be making a new video on level one to max using gear five. Gum food. So again, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, this is Legendary Dark Fruit, and we've just reached max level. And this is Gamer Nom. Here are the stats. Gamer Nom out.